For nearly two decades, this was Rob Ford's second home. And today, for the last time, he returned to Toronto City Hall. The Ford family, including his two young children, looking on in the rain as his flag-draped casket was escorted in by members of Toronto police. Almost simultaneously, a line of well-wishers wrapped around the building. I'm here to show respect for the family, the mere fact that they were able to share Rob Ford with us, considering that his life is very busy as a politician and also as a businessman, and uh, that they were able to do that. We respect them and love them for that. Some never knew Ford personally, but wanted to come because they believe in what he stood for. He never backed down, no matter what it was. It was always a fighter. Then there are those who say their lives are forever changed. Deshaun, Christian and Andre all played football at Don Bosco under Coach Ford. It's kind of difficult coming in here. The, um, the man meant a lot to us. Um, I can truly say he did it so much for us. This is his time he put in on and off the field. And he came to us every single day. After being here, he came to us every single day. So he put in the time and the hard work. Everything that the media put on him was always so bad and no one ever got to see the good that he did for us as football players, as students, as a mentor. This Rexdale mom saw the good firsthand. He was a father figure to them. He um, put shoes on my son's feet to play ball. Being a single parent, he, uh, he was just wonderful. He kept him on the field until 6, 7 o'clock at night, so tired that he came home. He was too tired to even eat. Hard work and discipline that paid off. Her son, Jonathan Langa, now plays for the Hamilton Ticats, drafted just last year, something he couldn't wait to share with his high school coach. So today you come to say thank you. I come to say thank you. I wish I, wish I had told him personally. Memories now cherished by the Ford family, who spent the entire day at City Hall. Ford's brother Doug said they wanted to honor Rob by being with the people he served. It's really hard for them, you know, saying goodbye to their their brother, their their son, their uh, their uh, their husband, their dad as well. To be able to see the hundreds and the thousands of people that uh, that Rob touched. And Shannon, some of those stories we've heard people sharing today, really touching. Tell us about some of them that stand out for you. We heard so many stories. Obviously, all of them couldn't make it into our piece tonight for the news. But we met volunteers who uh, worked on the Ford campaign, folks from Ford Nation, a woman who met Rob Ford and then invited him to her wedding and of course she showed up. It's not just one story that was so moving, Anne-Marie, it was just the sheer number of them. 2,500 people passed through City Hall today and you can see they are still at this hour paying their final respects. The front doors are now locked so the line is sort of dwindling down but the visitation continues here tomorrow when doors reopen at 7.30 in the morning, Anne-Marie. Shannon, thanks so much.